For those who have not seen the previous video about Sokunin, I can summarize. Sokunin is like a samurai in carpentry. You not only need to have the knowledge and skills to use tools with incredible speed simultaneously, but for the common good of everyone and society, you have to own a strong spirit though. There's a pretty difference between Sokunin and Western woodworkers, especially in the US, that Sokunin's knowledge is usually acquired through long years of apprenticeship in Japan. While in America, knowledge of new things is often gained through experimentation. This experimental freedom in some countries is unknown. But in America, it is a natural outgrowth of interest in and respect for personal opinion, not recklessness or carelessness. The ability to try new things without worrying is a unique nationalistic quality. It's interesting that each year in Japan, there are fewer Sokunin practicing craftsmanship in traditional ways. Whereas in the Western, many people recognize the value of Sokunin's tools and arc by using them in greater numbers. Huh? The grass is always greener on the other side. However, in my opinion, this is just learning and testing each other. Each country still retains its practical characteristics though. In recent years, some of Sokunin's tools, especially planes, chisels, saws, and sharpening stones, have been popular with Western woodworkers. But the problem is knowing how to get the best performance out of them. While Japanese tools often look simple compared to Western tools, they are very complex to use, performing best through the Sokunin's preparation, ability, and experience. Not only that, when you learn something new, including a new language, a new job, or a new way of doing things, psychological training determines 70% of your success. Therefore, understanding some of the ways to train the soul, as well as the spiritual connection between them and tools, can somewhat help your own life. Today, I'm gonna tell you a story I particularly like, that illustrates this relationship, the one written in the book Nippon no Tedogu by Osio, and I'll present it as simplified as possible. An old shrine carpenter worker had two sons who were both carpenters. Someday, the war has taken away his two sons from him. Because he was retired and had no other relatives, the old man decided to sell his tools. Then a man named Akioka bought all of 300 pieces, even a small box containing wood nails. Akiyoka decided to clean and sharpen them. But when he picked up the first chisel, he saw that the edge was well sharpened. This was true of all the tools. Then it dawned on him, the Shire carpenter was over 80 years old, and it must have taken him at least two months to sharpen all the tools. For the last time doing this job, he must have had many memories. Akiyoka felt so badly that he did not ever want to buy tools from a retiring Sokunin again. Although no doubt he could preserve the tools themselves, he was not confident he could maintain the carpenter's love and sentiment for them. The feeling of this carpenter is the same as the feeling of a parent whose children leave home for a distant place. He clothes them beautifully 
and neatly to say goodbye meaningfully. Even if you are not a Sokunin, this is easy to understand. <laughs>